UK fisheries have become a central to Boris Johnson's Brexit plans as Britain looks to reclaim control of its waters, but the issue of fishing has persisted for centuries, with one former foreign secretary threatening war with the strongest power in the world. Brexit trade talks have already descended into a standoff between the EU and Prime Minister Johnson, as Brussels demands access to British fishing waters in exchange for UK access to European markets. Mr Johnson has made it clear that the UK must regain control of its waters and prevent unfettered access for European countries. Signing up to an EU trade deal that allows access to European markets would also mean accepting regulatory alignment with the EU27, another red line for the Prime Minister, leaving the common fisheries policy, which allowed other EU member states to fish in British waters, was a major motivation behind the country's decision to vote leave in 2016. But the EU's chief negotiator Michel Barnier is not budging in his position, meaning talks could derail. Brussels negotiating directives insist a future deal should aim to avoid economic dislocation for EU fishermen that have traditionally fished in UK waters. Mr Barnier said last month, the trade agreement will be associated with a fisheries agreement and an agreement about a level playing field or there won't be any agreement at all. The war of words over fishing has rarely been as intense as it has become post-Brexit. However, while Brussels' stubbornness may be angering some in the UK, there is no threat of war with the strongest power in the world like there was at the turn of the 20th century.